If you have been watching my channel for some time, you are definitely no stranger to the Amer Nimi Moda drivers. Drivers themselves that have been actually doing AMD's work, or at least doing things that AMD just won't. And they won't because they can't? No, just because they don't care. And the amount of things that the Amer Nimi Moda drivers do that AMD won't is rather extensive. What exactly? Right after the sponsor of today's video. Today's video sponsor is GVGMO. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. The thing that I'm going to talk about first is smart access memory, which basically enables the, the CPU to call the full amount of VRAM on the GPU instead of being limited to uh, 256 megabytes per call. It can actually do one call with one gigabyte, one gigabyte, two gigabytes, three, four, five, even 20 or 48 gigabytes, or it doesn't really matter. So the call has no limit in terms of VRAM. And imagine that the game actually needs to do um, a call for two gigabytes. If, you, if the game needs to do a call for two gigabytes, it would have to do eight calls of 256 megabytes before smart access memory. Now the game can just do one call of two gigabytes. And reducing the amount of calls needed should in theory help the performance, uh, or at least boost the performance in some scenarios, which does happen. Now, when Smart Access Memory was released, it was only for the RX 6000 series and the Ryzen 5000 series, okay? It was limited to those CPUs and those GPUs. But AMD themselves later actually allowed the feature to be used on the RX 5000 series, which are the Navi cards, and then allowed it to be used also on older AMD GPUs like the Ryzen 3000 series. Okay, um, they also allow it to, to be used on Intel CPUs as well. It may not be as effective, but they did allow it. But what about the older generation cards like the Vega cards? AMD just didn't do it. And you may think that it was most likely due to the GPUs being old and their architectures wouldn't allow for, this, for the correct use of smart access memory. Wrong! Because mothers, and once again, Amer Nimi Moda drivers did it, and that's when I made my first Amer Nimi Moda drivers video, where I tested the Vega 56 with the official versus the Amer Nimi Moda drivers with smart access memory activated. And although, and although the performance boost was not much, it was there, and for the Vega 56 at the time, it was the performance needed to actually match some of the Nvidia GPUs for the same price, or in that scenario, for way lower price. So, it was a thing that AMD could do. If, if a, a really small team, or at least a one-man team, can actually do the implementation and make everything work correctly, I'm pretty sure that the billion-dollar company can do it as well. <laughs> And the list goes on. Back in May 2022, AMD actually released the DX9, 10 and 11 optimization for their drivers, but once again they released those optimizations only for the RX 6000 series cards. And most people thought, like me, I was one of them that, that thought, okay, it is just for the 6000 series now, but they will definitely release the, the, um, the DX9, 10 and 11 optimization for at least the RX 5000 series. And once, once again, again I was wrong. wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that, um, that the X9, 10 and 11 optimizations are still not presented on the RX 5000 series. And once again, we could think that, okay, AMD just didn't do it because they couldn't. Wrong once again, because the Amer Nimi Moda drivers did it. And that's when I made my second video of the Amer Nimi Moda drivers, Testing, testing the DX9, 10 and 11 optimizations on the RX 5000 series. And those same optimizations go for the RX 5000 series, Vega cards and 400 and 500 series. So if you have, for example, an RX 580, you can actually take advantage of, of those same DX9, 10 and 11 optimizations that in some scenarios can fix really, really poor performance like we've seen in God of War, okay? So the new optimizations brought some really nice performance boosts to God of War in areas where the FPS would drop considerably, at least FPS drops related to the GPU drivers, okay? So that's a very, very nice thing that Amer Nimi Moda drivers did, 
but AMD didn't. Sad. And that leads us to the point of this video, which is modders are once again doing AMD's work, which is sad and kind of annoying. For the past few months, AMD has been releasing drivers only for the RDNA 3 series. Okay, so for the, the RX 7900 series, which are the 7900 XT and 7900 XTX. So the past three or four drivers have been solely for those cards. And the last drivers that older generation users like the RX 6000 series, 5000 series, Vega, 500 series and 400 series have are the 22.11.2 drivers that were released in the end of November or in the beginning of December, okay? So those are the last drivers that those users have. And if they have, if they kind of want to have new games supported like Forspoken, Dead Space and so on, they can't because AMD just released the following drivers. So the 22.12.1, 22.12.2, 23.1.1 .1, .1, and 23.1.2 to the RDNA 3 cards. And don't get me wrong, because I do believe and I'm almost certain that AMD will keep releasing drivers for the older generations, but they're focusing more on the RDNA 3 cards because due to, to how they are built in terms of architecture, they need way more drivers work to actually work properly, okay? And I'm saying this because if AMD actually stopped releasing drivers for the older generations, at least for the RX 6000 series cards, they would have lots and lots of backlash and it, it would be the same as shooting themselves in the foot because they, they would lose lots, lots of people actually, lots of buyers, lots of potential buyers and lots of current users, okay? So they won't do that, I'm almost certain of that. The more you buy, the more you save. It's kind of a bummer that you only have these drivers for the RDNA 3 cards. But once again, with the Amer Nimi Mother drivers, you can have the current drivers supporting current games on your GPU. Just do it! Being it RX 6000 series, 5000 series, Vega, or even 400 and 500 series. That's how you do it, AMD. And don't come to me with shit like, oh, but AMD is doing this or doing that. If a modder team can make it work decently, at least a billion dollar company must be doing something wrong if they can't do it. If the Amernime modders are just so great that they do an, a wonderful job, because they do, well, why doesn't AMD actually contract them? Why they do not employ them in order to make their drivers better? Because before that, before this all, the smart access memory and so on, the Amernime modder drivers uh, already had some really, really good implementation driver-wise. And let's not even talk about kind of very annoying, borderline disgusting things that AMD did in the past, like disabling the AMD Relief feature, which is a recording feature for their APUs and laptops, which makes absolutely no sense because both the APUs on the laptops and the APUs on the, um, on the desktops can actually use a hardware recording because they have the encoder and decoder and even even though they can use it AMD just disable it software wise and with your AMD adrenaline settings you can't record the your gameplays you can't record your desktop you can't do it on the AMD software but once again I'm an anime model drivers unlock that feature and you can use that and much more with those drivers. So those drivers are a gold mine for everyone using AMD software. And once again, sadly, modders are doing AMD's job. So if you want to use smart access memory on older generation cards, use the Amer Nimi modded drivers. If you want those same DX9, 10 and 11 optimizations on your older generation cards, once again, use the Amer Nimi modded drivers. And now, if you want recent drivers, on your older GPU that isn't an RDNA 3, once again, use the Amer Nimi Mother drivers. I actually made a tutorial for you to see. Uh, the, the installer actually changed a bit, but overall it's way easier than you see in the video. Uh, as for their website, link is in the description and in the pinned comment as well. All you have to do if you have, for example, an RX 5000 series, Vega or Polaris card, so the RX 4, 400 and 500 series, all you have to do is to go down below and select the Polaris slash Vega slash Navi drivers, download, install them and you're good to go. Before anything, just use DDU and remove your previous drivers and then install these modded drivers. And once again, you're good to go. I'm an Nimi modded drivers. I'm an Nimi modding, modding team. 
just a big thank you for from me and the community that's all and well guys thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video also check my previous videos of the rtx 4070 ti 40 games tested at 1440p uh with ray tracing the lss frame generation and so on several games tested 40 that's a lot of things of things tested let's that's a lot of games tested um so just go there, watch that video, watch the unboxing of the card if you want as well. And you have way more comparisons like, for example, the RX 6800 versus 7900 XT versus 7900 XTX as well. So if you want to watch some data on that specific, uh, on those specific topics, watch my video section, lay an eye on my video section and watch those videos. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget, comment in the comment section with your thoughts about this and why isn't AMD actually doing their job as they should, or at least why don't they uh, employ the, um, or contract the, the Amer Nimim or the drivers team to actually make their drivers better. I mean, they should, they should. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.